gold respected 1980 levels last week and has shown a good rally close to 2050 levels i hope you all profited uh, in my weekly analysis weekly review last week told you very clearly that 1980 1990 zone is going to be a very strong support zone it precisely bounced back from 1980 levels and on the upside told you also that uh, beyond 2020 you can expect that directly it is going to hit 2050 levels now what to expect next week which position you should take in order to profit trading gold we will see with the help of charts followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading strategy for next week do watch till the end do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis which i share for gold first with the asia session next with the us session now let's start first we we'll look into the charts alone now look at this gold formed a triple bottom and then this rally has started and since then gold is trading in this channel and this is a bullish channel it is now very close to the highs now if you look at last few days trading you can find out it is trying to create another good channel there you can see after forming a good strong pole it is trying to form this upward bullish flag here it has to break out either which way in order to confirm the further move yes on the longer term chart it is already given a breakout but still on the daily charts now it is trying to consolidate now if you look at the charts more closely you'll find that see the lows here and the lows there it also indicates that for next week specifically we have to uh, be observant of 1990 levels and 1980 levels again if these two are taken certainly more bearishness can be seen in gold which is going to take it till towards 1950 1940 levels so till the time it stays above 1980 will not be considering this for a breakout here now if you look at the top there also higher highs are seen so uh first let's see how it behaves achieving the bottom here at around 1980 1990 and if this respects then certainly we can expect a bounce back again else there is all the probabilities that it may try to drop further if it is tried it is trading slightly overbought and hence a little bit of drop cannot be uh denied there so this is on the daily charts here or let's have a look at the weekly charts and before we proceed on the daily charts one more point here now see if 2050 is taken remember these two lines these two lines first this is the channel high and if you see the next uh, high for the channel next week is at around 2080 2090 levels so if it breaks past 2050 certainly we will be looking at a next rise and this is also the previous high line which we had seen 2075 2070 the twin peaks which we had seen in the last couple of years and hence 2065 once 2065 is taken certainly we can expect it to hit 2090 levels that is the next target which i'll be looking forward to if it continues to stay above 2065 levels then and then only now let's have a look at the weekly chart now on the weekly charts too see this is a complete channel in which it is trying to move at the same time one more observation is see the last few weeks you can see strong bullish move then the phase of consolidation and it is trying to create a, a, a consolidation channel for its own the high is now limiting for next week at around uh, 2050 and on the downside in 1980 certainly you can see the previous swing for last week was also in the similar zone another observation from last weekly candle is see higher lows higher high so this is mostly a bullish move however the close is is a uh, close to doji doji formation that is a formation of a indecision indecision because see the neither the bulls nor the bears try to keep the uh, move there yes there was a good push towards the end of the week which also indicates that it may try to continue with this momentum for a little while now for next week remember if it opens below 2000 levels trades below 1998 you can say that there could be further little more drop which might take it a little lower and then i will wait for it to breach past first 1990 and then 1980 zone if these two are taken there could be further bearishness which is going to prevail i have told you several times 1940 1950 is the next level which i will be looking forward to if it if and only if gold breaks below 1950 1940 zone you can expect that it is going to hit the bottom of the channel which is right now situated at around 1920 levels so this is something we will wait for it certainly below 2000 below 1998 you can initiate a sell entry however not consider it as bearish till 1980 in uh, when i say bearish means for weak that 
till 1980 for this week it can definitely bounce back but below 1980 there could be further bearishness which is going to prevail taking it till towards 1960 1950 40 levels yes every 10 dollars there is a slight support on the downside at the same time opening above the zone and yes if you see it trading above 2013.5 you can expect that 2021 that is something i will be looking forward to if it 2021 is taken certainly we can expect that it is going to break past 2050 and then beyond the 2065 levels also but this is just on the weekly charts now let's also have a look at the monthly candle which shape it has taken right now and you can already see that it is greener in color it is already traded bullish it is already achieved high and if you look at the monthly chart see these are the two previous highs right now uh, the if you connect this this line can, is situated at around 2065 levels at the same time see first of all uh, let me show you a little longer term move for gold see the rise there since then it is traded in this bearish channel and for last few months gold has given a breakout so after forming the flag this has given a breakout it means it is bound to achieve further highs but it has to break past this zone here which is going to remain a very important resistance zone 2065 2075 level another point to note here is see the previous to previous candle was a red candle then this bullish breakout has happened and since then we have seen it consistently achieving higher highs now the support definitely is far below at 1800 at the same time you can look at it here see a uh, first this big bullish candle of after the triple bottom and it is consistently traded in this channel now this is certainly a bullish uh, channel which is looking upwards at the same time look at the previous candle the complete body size that is a greener part of it without the shadow and the wick is almost of 150 dollars and for the this month for it to confirm the bullishness at least 50% of the body size it must achieve which means $75 and if you look at the starting point here you will find 1970 so almost uh, it has scaled this 2045 2050 zone which should be the ideal body size but it has to if it is bullish for next month also it has to achieve it has to break past this zone and hence more bullishness can be expected if it continues to stay upward above 2050 levels we can expect 2065 75 and 2090 2090 is something i will be looking forward to beyond that it is going to fly further high right now also on the downside one more important point because see higher highs are done it is looking forward to a downside now see this couple of points the initial initiation point here that is almost close to 1970 and then the zone here at 1950 and 1940 these two are going to remain the strongest support if gold tries to retrace further on the downside remember this fact till the time gold stays above this possibility of it to reverse exist very strong that is 1940 1950 levels now this is on the monthly charts and also we had seen that it is looking forward to an upward move it is already trading bullish i will wait for a breakout about 2075 and then gold might already uh, you know to about 2075 it is already at all time high levels but then it has to achieve further highs in the coming months now we have seen the charts let's have a look at the indicators what does the indicators are suggesting now see indicators on the daily charts it is taking the support from the 20 period moving average this is simple and exponential both are together here at 1985 levels now see uh, whenever we have seen the price is diverging from the 20 period moving average we have seen it converging here diverge and then converge so it is this is right now taking the support from here already the moving average are trading with divergence this is a bullish sign below 19 uh see 1985 you can find 1940 1950 the next 50 period moving average giving it as a very strong support also if you look at the width of the bullinger bands on the daily charts see the width here has expanded consistently right now it is trading in a very narrow band and that is also precisely we have seen the movement Uh, for last couple of weeks gold is traded in a very narrow band here and this also is simply reflected here in the width and we can, we saw this last trading session of last week that it was trading outside bollinger bands and we have seen a good pull back here now look at the stock elastic this is trading comfortable in the you can say this is neither overbought nor oversold but look at magdi this is trading at extremely uh, top levels there you can see the previous high is at plus 30 and now it is again staying at plus 30 after plus 30 we have seen a sharp fall it has recovered it is trying to consolidate a drop from here first uh, we need to be observant because see if it has to take time 
and the support is there on the downside probably with the smaller movements it may try to cover up this journey so i'll wait it is already crossed over trading with divergence this is a slight bearish indication on the daily charts rsi trying to look down so when you see that it is bullish the downward move is going to be slow and uh, the upward move is going to be a speedier one and that is what is happened in the last recovery on the daily charts too now look at the daily weekly chart so when i say the last recovery you can see this weekly charts from here the stochastic there on the daily charts are overbought it has dropped here and see the lows there and here were different and now it is again scaled the highs now on the weekly charts too this traded outside bollinger bands has got a pull back here and yes the bollinger band width is getting expanded with every candle there it is still looking upward now on the weekly charts to see the 20 50 100 period moving averages are divergent here this is also indicating bullishness and we can see that previous it diverge from the 20 period moving average then converge here it is already far above from the 20 period moving average if it tries to converge now 1900 levels are that is going to be the next strongest support below 1940 Now see the on the weekly charts the stock elastic is trading overbought at the same time the MACD is divergent and bullish and looking upwards showing that it yes uh, it is at plus fifty and see the previous rise in twenty twenty where it has scaled to plus hundred levels and it it also indicates that it has a scope for it to rise further RSI very near to the overbought zone not overbought as of now but very nearby to it now look at monthly candle. now on the monthly candle too it is trading outside bollinger bands and we have seen in last few years you can see that it was trading outside bollinger bands got the pullback it was trading outside bollinger bands got the pullback multiple times on the monthly charts it tried to stay outside bollinger bands but got a pullback right now the same is happening it stayed outside bollinger bands and has seen a good pullback as of now it is not willing to stay above this but uh, probably the movement might remain in range even if it tries to drop for next few days it can show you a good recovery towards the end of the month and on the monthly chart the 20 months average is far below at 1800 the stock elastic on the monthly charts is certainly trading overbought the macd on the monthly charts on the other hand has crossed over trading with divergence this is the second green candle and you can see after a couple of years trading in bearish move it is now crossed over and it is looking up first and whenever we have seen see this was the crossover previously in 2019 and since then gold has scaled the highs there at 2075 and from here also you can see multiple months it traded bullish it achieved higher highs before it retraced on the downside same is happening again possibly next few months it can continue to stay bullish rsi trying to look up first and show little strength so we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the trading levels and strategy for you so that you can trade profitably and before i proceed yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you can be part of my mentorship batch the 21st batch it starts now on 1st of may reserve your seats now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals channel where trading as per the signal definitely you can benefit reach out to me for more details now first let's talk about the levels to buy i will only recommend you to buy if you see it trading at 2013.5 you can expect the next target at 2021 2032 and then 2050 now see these are good resistance levels you have to keep booking your profits at each milestones you have to keep booking your profits here 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 and then 2065 is something you need to look forward to now 2065 2075 is the zone you need to wait for it to break out this is near all time all time high levels and it may try to breach it once achieve 2090 even if it has to retrace it may try to achieve higher levels before retracing a bit on the downside towards the close of the month this is the case when it is continues to stay bullish the next week and next next week also but certainly we are looking forward to a slight swing and hence you should enjoy the sell also and you can sell here at 1998 but then also 1991 1985 and 1980 till here very very good support exists for gold till 1980 very good support exists for gold below that i will be looking forward to 19 see 1970 and then 1950 these are the next support levels for gold 
and I will be looking forward for it to break past 1940-1950 zone in order to confirm the bearishness where it is going to hit 19. 1900 basically 1920 is a good support but yes below 1940 we may see it hitting further lows 1870 1900 levels can get achieved remember 1900 is the bottom of the channel right now and these levels in between 1900 1940 also is going to play a very good support here so for gold possibly it can try to show you good swings uh, with a slight sideways move and closing a sideways that is what like we can expect it going ahead in the next week and hence take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.